Lawrence. Um, I'm 25 years old and I have been until two weeks ago the project leader of uh, Nixos. Uh, Europe was a was a crazy ride. Um, it's uh, there were so many ups and downs and um, two steps forward, seven step back, and then eight steps forward again, and so on and so on. It was it was a roller coaster of, of emotions and. Um, no, it, it was it was a very special time. Um, you were never we were never able to to prepare a day for for what was actually going to come. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, willkommen zu unserer kleinen Interviewreihe. Um, wir starten mit unserem ersten Interview. Uh, ich muss leider auf Deutsch machen, uh, sonst verliert sich der Witz. Um. It's been a, a tough time. Uh, we had little sleep, little food, um, and a lot of a lot of hard work, night shifts. Uh, waking up at 4 a.m. to be at latest 5.30 at the launch site. But it was a very special time and it brought our team and uh, the project forward. Hi, my name is Louis. I'm 22 years old. I'm in my last uh, bachelor semester and I joined VAR uh, three years ago. So my role in VAR, so to give a little bit of context, uh, I first was, a, when I joined VAR three years ago, I was first uh, a member of the Aerostructures team. Then after I think one or one and a half years, I became the Aerostructures lead for Project Cryosphere. This is our older hybrid project. And I participated in the launch campaign and after that I was asked if I want to take over the project lead for our newer project, the Biliquid project, Project Nixus, you can see here. <laughs> my role in Portugal, I was the pet safety manager. So my task basically was to make sure that everyone that yeah, was on the pad or operating on the pad, so on the launch pad where we bring the rocket uh, before launch, uh, is safe uh, during all operations. Uh, but yeah, being there, of course, I, I figured out quite quickly that from a technical perspective and from the, yeah, let's say, degree of advancement of the system, we, we had built a really, really uh, yeah, advanced and nearer to industry standard system as the other teams, for example. So I, I, I had, had hopes, let's say, uh, so I, it didn't come to a complete surprise, but uh, yeah, still it was a really, really great achievement and uh, we were extremely happy and proud to, to got the award because uh, the design award is basically, yeah, describes our uh, yeah, guidance and rules in the, in the team quite good because we want to push the boundaries and keep on uh, investigating uh, systems that are more industry standard.
We are feeling amazing, but we have to launch now. We're gonna feel even better afterwards. Awesome. <laughs> Same answer. Job isn't done, but great achievement. We are going for it. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Oh, like, I don't even know. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's very overwhelming. But it was okay, you know, whatever. We made it. We, yeah. we made it, boys. I'm feeling very relieved, very good. It's amazing, I can't believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. My name is Francesco. I've been leading the rocketry team for between one year and two years, I'm sure. Um, here at Eurok I was a range safety officer. So in practice it meant uh, checking that our launch rail was uh, at the correct elevation, that all the parts were um, correctly assembled. Um, not really, let's say, every bolt, but correctly assembled to perform the flight that we wanted to. And um, then the checking of the vehicle was the largest part um, before the, the actual launch window. Project Nixus um, makes up the next steps in the development uh, for biorocketry and it's a natural evolution moving from cryogenic, large, hybrid rockets to moving to something that is more contemporary, like cryogenic by liquid propulsion. Um, the, the development of the X4 didn't stop with the engine, with the liquid engine. The entire system has uh, seen a novel approach um, that was dominated by the concept of rapid prototyping, which is something that is very relevant in the current um, aerospace industry and especially in the world of startups. Seeing the X4 on, on the launch pad was the coronation of long years of hard work and especially the last months have been a very intense push for the members, um, testing, commissioning, manufacturing the final uh, components of the rocket and then finally the integrated test campaign that uh, represented the final uh, the final test, like the ultimate test before we actually got on the launch pad. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this rocket launching. I think pretty much everyone at the competition. Oh my god, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you guys have one of the most impressive rockets I've ever seen, and that includes some of the Ariane series and the Vega rockets. So. <laughs> I was in control room looking at the pad. And uh, when we did the final checklist um, and we actually went go for launch after we checked all the boxes, um, that was like jumping, jumping in, in the void, uh, that kind of sensation. Um, fortunately, we, we, we knew that the attempt would be safe um, and we tested the exact scenario that we faced. Um, but 
the different time constraints that we saw at the competition made it a little bit more difficult to actually have a successful liftoff. Uh, this came with a lot of lessons learned uh, that we definitely will keep in mind for, for next time. And this will also, let's say, have a, uh, an application in the actual designs that we will bring to Europe next year. Um, but I will never forget the jumping in the void sensation when you know your heart skips a beat, you send the launch command and you see the countdown start and it's it's amazing. It's a level of satisfaction and realization of so much hard work that really everybody should have. Everybody should do an activity like this. Yes, uh, we we won the, the design award from from Euroc. I don't know why it says New Space on there, but um, it's uh, it's the the design award from from this year's competition. The design award basically says it's the most um, complex and the most sophisticated rocket and design choices that have been done and how they have been implemented. And um, it's a very big honor that we got the award. Um, because it shows that our efforts in the last couple of years have been recognized and um, not just by the competition, also by the other teams. So well, first of all, we're launching a freaking 5.5 meter long rocket, which is already in and of itself awesome. Uh, like not, not a lot of people can say they did that, especially as students. Um, and then also just the, the social aspect, aspect that we just have a bunch of super cool people here and it's super fun to be around them. Yeah, I think what makes me most proud is actually the, the individual people in the team because um, we, we had moments where we had really a lot to, you know, to overcome, like a lot of work. Surprisingly, that, you know, didn't drive away people, but that actually made us, you know, made them more involved and want to be part of the team and made us all closer and, like, uh, build up friendships. And uh, seeing that paying off, getting us to this state where we can, you know, go here to Portugal and uh, having some of the, the core team here and integrating this rocket together is just super rewarding. What makes me proud of being a part of uh, Wawa Kutui is obviously the, the passion we have with developing our stuff, our own, because uh, almost every part of our rocket is self-developed, not much is as well uh, at COTS and um, also all of the people that have this amazing mindset to just build a rocket and get it to the pad and lift off. I actually, I, I think I'm not the first one to say that probably, but I, I have to go with the team here. So um, yeah, working in such an amazing team with, with uh, yeah, really cool individuals that uh, just wants to want to work in their free time on, on stuff they really enjoy and like it's, it's so nice to see and in the last years we we gained so yeah so much momentum here at, at, at TUM with our rocketry team that I'm I'm really proud and, and happy to see so many new faces at the kickoffs. What makes me proud of being part of our rocketry is the insane dedication ambition and team spirit of this team. I mean being Doing bi-liquid propulsion is something that has never been done by a German team before and there's a reason for that. It's very hard and complicated, basically the most difficult you can go when it goes to rocket propulsion. And to achieve this you need a team that not only has the very immense expertise to make this happen but also the dedication to put in the time and also the ambition to even go there that far. And all of this is in this team which makes me very proud to be part of this journey. <laughs>